Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! Good morning, guys. Bonded Draconis here, and welcome back to Beyond Shadowgate. If I'm not mistaken, we were trying to find a way out of the castle to get some wine, I think, to be able to progress. So I'm going to look around for that, and I will talk to you when I find it, assuming that I find it, or if something interesting happens along the way. Oh, is this it? I didn't realize that there was a path down this way. Okay. Can I use that? Ooh, I can. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it real fast. All right. Ah! Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Sure. I'll take that. Can I look at you? It's an ancient fairy stone. Seasoned magicians use these to cross great distances in the blink of an eye. I think I looked at that before. Yes. Let's go. All right. So wine. Wine it is. Wine it is. Yes. Good God. I feel kind of silly now. That is the end. Wine. All right. Uh, talk. Talk, talk, talk. Speak. Speak to him. Good luck, my friendling friend. I need wine. Um... Where do I find wine? Hello. Oh, gold coin. Right. I needed to get something from him. Uh-huh. I needed to get something from him, but I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Hi. A large, muscular man, dirtied by soot and glistening with sweat, stands before you with an expectant look. Vino? You greet the blacksmith. He smiles widely and replies, Hello, Fenling. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, I don't know, is there? The stone forge houses an extremely hot fire the blacksmith uses to work his crap. The intense heat causes a sheen of sweat to break out on your forehead. Can I take that? Cannot take it. Alright, what is that? This liquid-filled barrel is used to quench hot metal. So it's either water or oil. Okay. Um, Vino, what do I need the? What do I need to get from you? Okay. Ah, uh, can I? Well, first off, save. Use gold coin. Him. Oh, the gold dagger. That's right. What do I need that for? I don't remember. It's been a couple of weeks. It is an intricately designed golden dagger. It's too soft to be an effective weapon, but may cut paper and canvas. I need it for something. I know I need it for something. But what? Oh god, but what? Ah! I don't remember. Talk to him. Thank you, little Fenling. You are always welcome in my shop. You can't have anything, but you're welcome to come say hi. Alright. Well, we're gonna... We're gonna go ahead and go back to the castle. Because I know whatever I need the, needed the dagger for is in there. I do know that. So we're gonna save it here. Right. Okay. 
And then I think... In here? Yes, right here. Use you on you. Flower spills like an avalanche... Avalanche? Avalanche onto the floor as you slice through the, through the sack. Can I take it? I, I can take the sack. Okay. There's not the flower. Can I use the flower? Did not work. Ah, uh, look at it. You feel mild, mildly sorry for the poor soul who has to clean all, all this flower. No, I don't. I still have the dagger. An invoice from the tavern. A bottle of the king's wine times one. The number of zeros on the bill is astounding. Paid in full and the wine is ready to be picked up. Right. Okay. So where do I go to pick it up though? That's the question. How the hell did I miss a whole ass square down here? I would think that I would need to go here. Right? Right? Wait. Hold on. Do I... Do I need to get... Bring the, uh... Invoice here? Is that what I need to do? Can I take the invoice? I can! Back to the Rusted Blade Inn. Okay! Alright! That makes sense now. I'll see you back at the inn. Okay, here we are. Hi, buddy. Can I use this on you? You hand the invoice to the barkeeper. Curious about what kind of glorious bottle will hold wine fit for a king. Here you go, he says, handing you a mo most unremarkable and basic looking wine bottle. He leans closer and whispers, I don't know how you got to be fetching the king's wine, but good job getting in the castle. Rescue our king, he finishes. Uh, yes, sir. See you back at the castle. All right. Nothing interesting is happening in between these areas, so... Up we get. Save we will. Go this way. Give this to you. The guard looks at the wine and speaks. The prince be not here, but you can leave it inside. Be quick about it and close the door on your way out. I'm taking me leave. He stands aside and allows you to pass. All right. Here we go. I'm going to close the door. That does not close. Really? Okay. Can I... First off, can I use this on that? No. All right. We're going to open you... An un a single item looks unusual among the expensive pieces of jewelry. Okay, well, can I have it? Oh, I actually have to take it. Mandragora. Oh my god! It looks like it's screaming. You reach into the drawer and gasp grasp the wrapped item. Suddenly, it begins shrieking. You've earned the ire of a Mandragora. In a few moments, its screams will drive the soul from your body. You must dispose of it quickly. Throw it in the fire! <laughs> Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! <laughs> Wanting nothing to do with the creature, you throw it straight into the fireplace. Oh no, oh, hi. The Mandragora howls as flames crawl over its body. Embers from its flailing limbs ignite the wall tapestry, which burns as quickly as the vile Mandragora. In moments, the tapestry is no more, and a magnificent suit of armor is revealed. The luck I have, you say gratefully. 
Death by Mandragora is no way to go. These monsters wanted the prince to suffer. You say as you as your resolve renews. Can I take the armor? It cannot be taken. Can I open the armor? Did not open. Can I speak to it? You received no reply. Okay, can I use it? Oh, I can use it. Uh, oh, oh, oh my. Um, hi. Is there... <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Um, right. I don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm going to try to open this. It did not open. What is it? There's a lantern. Oh, okay. Can I take it? I can take it. Can I take that? No. Can I look at it? The fabric is woven beautifully into a scene depicting the sun setting over a battlefield. Okay. All right. Use the bed? No. A majestic set of armor stands against the wall. You notice the helmet and gauntlets are loose, as if they were recently moved. An inscription on the armor reads, Torlin Gwynthal. As if... Okay, well, you're looking at me. I don't need to do that again. That's just weird, though. Like... I don't know. I wonder. Do I have anything that will give me a clue? Targwinthal. Spell did not work. Okay. Hmm. No, I don't want to use it. I want to. I want to. I want to look at it. The book has one page with a folded corner, as if begging to be opened to this page. Prince Torlin Gwynthal, the founder of Gwynthal. Prince Torlin Gwynthal looked across the battlefield. The barbarians had been defeated, but at a high price. The glimmer of a tear. The prince turned his head towards the setting sun. Okay. His right arm. And raised his right arm to salute the fallen. He stood there silently paying homage to those whose sacrifice opened the path to victory. Right. Okay. So. Ah. Okay. Ah. Secret passage. Nice. Okay. The sun setting over a battle. Okay. I thought I did this, though. I guess not. Anyway, moving on. Hello! Alright. What an unusual place for a chair. You muse out loud no, to no one in particular. Except for you guys. It's a painting of a lovely woman with flowing brown hair and a piercing gaze. You see an unusual bump at the bottom of the canvas, okay? It is a painting of King Leon, one of the majestic line of the of Gwynanthel rulers. While marveling at the detail, you hear a faint whispering sound coming from behind the painting. Okay. A portrait of the late Queen Mother. You get the impression from the painting that she was a warm and giving person. Okay, well, I know this is probably annoying, but use you. Oh, you are curious about the bump in the painting. Gripping the sides, you lift the painting off the wall. You hear something slide, sliding inside the painting as you place it on the ground. Open. Oh, wait. Uh, gold dagger? The item is useless here. Okay. 
use you. Oh, that looks like it's going to be a key. Can I open that? No. Can I? Nope. Can I use this on that? I can. You drag the dagger along the back of the painting. Your destructive crusade against art reveals a key. You take the king's key. Okay. Now, about you. Hi. You take the painting from the wall, revealing a small hole. Stepping on the chair, you place your eye against the hole. Hello. Belazar stands quietly in the middle of the room. He slowly raises his arms and begins to chant. Before your very eyes, Belazar transforms into a hideous lizard-like creature. Oh no! Okay. You feel cool air run pouring from the room beyond. I don't know why that was difficult. The mirror ripples as a shape begins to form. The lizard man stops chanting and speaks. Master, there have been setbacks, but all, all is as planned. The druid has left your tomb unguarded. Yes, master, he is here in this castle's tower. No, the pawns are of no further use. I am not going to keep hissing like that. I leave now. There is much to ground to cover through Torlin Forest, across the Baron, and over Gatekeeper Mountain. I will retrieve your staff before the autumnal equinox and usher you back into the world. You gasp and pull your head back from the wall. The equinox is tomorrow. You have to follow it. I mean, do I have to? Really? <laughs> the king, you whisper. I've got to find the royal seal and convince the prince to search the dungeon below. Your wisp companion chimes in. After we rescue King Arundi, we have to follow that fiend into the Torland Forest. Why do we have to do it? I mean, I know it's the, the point of the game and all, but why do we have to do it? D don't the, don't the, doesn't the king have guards? An army? Okay, sure. Let's make the poor Fendling do it. Can we use that? We take the painting off the wall and place it on the ground. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Okay. A solid wooden door is blocking your path. It is locked and far too strong to break through. But what if we use this? Hey, it worked. The key fits perfectly in the lock. With a quick turn, you unlock the door. How about that? One more time. Let's go. Hello. As you enter the room, an updraft of wind playfully tussles your hair. There must be stairs in front of you. You can see nothing except for a glint of metal above your head. I need light, you think to yourself. Do you? Nah. Nah, you're... You're fine. Getting on your tiptoes, you hang the lantern on the hook. Now that the stairs are lit, you feel comfortable proceeding. Can I take it back? I can. Okay. All right, so... Let's go ahead and put it up there. Uh, we're going to save again because we're going down, down the, the secret stairs now. Antichamber. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Hello. You gaze into the elaborately detailed mirror. An unusual shimmer distorts the reflection of your face. I, um... I don't know if I want to use this. It did not work. All right. Can I open it? Will not open. Can I talk to it? You hear nothing in response. Okay. Um, then can I use this on that? Nope. Okay. Excuse me. All right. Well, this antechamber is a quiet place for a ruler to relax when not holding courts. Are those things that can be opened? No. 
All right, can I look at that? No, okay. I guess, can I use the, oh no, I can't. Jailer's key, maybe? Maybe, use. Item does not work. Okay. Can I move you? Your feet will not take you. Oh, that's right. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Well, okay. Wait. Uh, open. Locked, yeah. Okay. So I don't have anything that I can use here yet. Do I? Doesn't look like it. Unless... Ah, Targwinthal. You chant the magic words, Targwinthal. The face of the mirror begins to shimmer and melt away, revealing a hidden compartment beyond. Can I take that? The Royal Seal. You take the Royal Seal. The Royal Seal of Gwynenthal. Just like Arandi said, it will prove that the king is alive. This thing isn't so great, you mobile, as you look it over, trying to see what the fuss is all about. This handheld golden stamp has the crest of Gwynenthal and unknown runes printed across the bottom. Alright. Well, since we don't know what's going to happen just yet... <laughs> Excuse me. Is that a button? It is a button. And it unlocked the door. You press the button and hear a satisfying click from the door to your left. Open says me! Oh, hi. As you enter the throne room, your wisp friend appears to give you advice. Of course she does. Teehee! You stand before royalty, Del. Act quickly and mind your obnoxious tongue, for you must prove the king lives. Should you dally or misstep, it will be certain death. You can evade traps and monsters, but can you lead men? Do not approach unless you carry ample evidence of the traitor who incarcerated his king within the dungeon below. Finally, something interesting to watch. Hello, can I? Hi. A look of surprise appears on the face of the man sitting upon the throne. He resembles the king who is imprisoned in the dungeon. This must be Prince Elrith. His eyes lock onto yours as he inspects you cautiously. He speaks firmly. What is the meaning of this intrusion? Give the evidence to him. So, a mere thief, then. Guards, take this creature from my sight, the prince says disappointed. Before you are captured, you flee for the side door, but a well-thrown spear pierces your chest, stopping you dead. Oh, okay. Well, you have died. The sky is darkened, and the world is doomed. Okay. Well. Um. Fun times. Hi. Can I speak to you? Do not try my patience, Fendling. If you have reason for me to trust you, show it now. Can I give it to you now? No. Um. You have died. The sky is darkened and the world is doomed. Yes, thank you. Um. Okay. What if... The door is currently barred shut. It will not open. Okay. All right. I can go back out. That's fine. I don't think there's anything else I can grab, though. What about this? Sensing the prince's impatience, you quickly produce the royal seal. The prince gasps at the sight of the relic. By the one, he shouts. How did you come to hold the seal? Only my brother knew where this was hidden. The king must live. Okay. Explain yourself. What is the meaning of this? 
He finishes staring at you with no thought of fighting his anticipation. You know you have but a moment to make a compelling argument. Words alone will not help you to convince the prince. Okay, so now... In a rare show of humility, you bow your head and hand the trade minister's book to the expectant prince. He thumbs through the book quickly, his eyes growing wider with each turning page. His face is painted with righteous fury. Oh, thank God. Okay. See, I thought... I thought that showing him the seal would be the thing that got me in trouble. Silly me! The prince shouts, Guards, seize Oven at once and take him alive. I want him at my feet now. His face calms and he smiles gently at you. Come, Fenling. You spoke with my brother? Please bring me to him. What, did you jump in my pocket? Can we go out this way now? We can. Okay. Sweet! Taking him to... Oh, no! Oh. Uh... Oh, right. The prince is in my pocket. I forgot. Foul beast, shouts the prince as members of the royal guard fire arrows into the minotaur's chest. Sorry about the first thing, I I just, I instinctively clicked through. That beast was surely part of the conspiracy to imprison the king. I trust you are alright, Master Fenling. Now, to the king. Hello, king. Speak. Fenling, and Elrith, blessed be the one, the king shouts. He looks at you, my friend who locked me in this cell. You quickly explain the facts. Ovin and Veldar? Scoundrels! Release me, brother. There is much to do, the king exclaims. With that, the toll of your effort overwhelms you. You become faint as your vision dims and you collapse to the floor. Did that kill me? No. Okay. <laughs> A rescue down under. You blink your eyes and try to focus on your surroundings, recovering your wits enough to recognize the throne room. The rescued king sits upon his throne with his brother at his right hand. The king smiles at you. My friend, you have succeeded beyond my wildest hopes. Take this reward for thy courage and ingenuity. This is a key to the royal treasury. There's an item set aside just for you. A small pouch of riches. Do not take this gift lightly. We are trusting you, trusting you to only take your reward. I shall also bestow upon thee the title of King Squire. You mumble a thank you, unsure whether this title will require any work from you. <laughs> the king sees your discomfort and laughs. Fear not, tis but an honorary title. Now I must speak with Lord Jer to quell all talk of war. Jer's army has withdrawn from the forest and will not return. King Arondi motions a servant to show you out while Prince Elrith says he will personally conduct the search for conspirators. Okay. Save. And now... Where... For... Where's the treasury? No. Power door. I don't think. No. Okay. <clears throat> there was something about someone or something in the tower. Right, the treasury is over here. Use treasury key. Open you. Save again. Lean heavily into the steel door using all of your weight to push it open. <laughs> This must be it. All right, so, God, geez, okay. Well, I can at least look at stuff, right? Let me see, we have a sword, jewels, and a chalice. Standard fare for a treasury, you say to the empty room. Sounds on you that the room is much larger than the pile of gold. Gwyn and Thel must have fallen on hard times. Okay, well, I'm guessing this is mine. You snatch up your reward, eager to see what's inside. Let's open it and see. Open the fancy pouch and remove the contents. An emerald. 
and a sapphire, and a pearl. Giving the pouch one last shake, you are happy with your haul. You discard the empty pouch. Yeah, I won't push it. I'm sure there's a death here, but... You know what? Yes, we will. Let's take that. Your greed convinced you that the contents of the pouch are not enough of a reward. So you decided to take a little more. Your pockets loaded with gold, you turn to leave, but two large guards block the, ex block the exit. Their spears pointed straight at you. In a flash, they skewer your lungs. You realize, just before you die, that stealing from a grateful friend was a mistake. I had to. I had to see the death. With your failure, evil has prevailed. I had to. Okay, I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I, I'm sorry. It was there. Alright. Um, what about these two? Are they still down here? Did we just leave these two poor guys here? We did, didn't we? No, we didn't. Now that the plot against King Arani has been resolved, Joshua, the King's Council, has been freed, freed from the dungeon. Okay. So no, we didn't just leave these poor guys down here. Cool. Alright. Well, then... Um... Throne room has been securely locked. Okay. So... Then... What? I mean, this looks like a, a good, as good a place as any to stop for the day. But I'm curious. Can I... Get a room at the inn, maybe? Let's talk to him, and then we'll stop for the day. But look, my Fendling friend, no. Okay. So we're going to stop here, and pick this back up next Sunday. So, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully we will be able to figure out where we're going from here. Have a good one!